Hey, I got gold fever and you wouldn't believe it. I'm out chasing gold and I don't want to leave it. This gold detector has got me on the run. All around Australia, it's got me roaming. I find a piece or two that. Well, the days just keep I'm getting better detector. out here in the whipstick. I'm at Apollo Hill, I've got my 6,000 out here, and I think I've come across my very first target for the day. Magnificent weather, perfect for digging. Let's see if we've got a target or just another ground noise. Maybe this one's a lead shot, but hopefully it's a piece of the precious yellow metal. You can hear that there just quietly. come from a different angle, so I'm trying to draw an imaginary crosshair on the ground. It's a nice little sound still there. Come one more angle. Okay, I've got a fair idea where I think the target is now. I'm just going to put the machine down. Again, clear a nice flat area for me, so I've got to make it nice and easy to work with. Get rid of that rock there. Thank you very much. Still think I'm in the roughly in the right area here. I always really like just to dish my hole out like I have here, a bit like a saucer, so that I don't have really sharp edges on it. That way it makes it easier for me to get my coil in. And if I get my coil closer to the target, it should mean that I get an increase in the sound. Let's have a listen. Take a bit more out again. Nice little uh, sound here, out with my trusty scoop. No sound in that light, let's come back into here. Okay, these are one of my favourite ones that sometimes I love to do here. I've got in here just a solid piece of uh, clay. Quite often when I break these open, I might be able to see a little target there. Let's have a look and see what happens this time. Looks quite solid. It's just a packed little piece of clay, but I can't see anything yet. Let's break him in half here. I've got two halves there. Just going to check this one. It's not in that piece, put him back in the hole. Let's keep it near my scoop in case it falls apart on me. Let's break it in half again if I can here. Not quite half, but still in my big bit here. Just have another look in the sun there, see if I can't see anything. Oh no, Dave's done it again with just a little tiny piece of lead by the look of it stuck in the side there. Now that was a very, very loud signal. I uh, love breaking them out like this. Unfortunately, it's the wrong colour this time. This one's another little faint target here. I'll give you a listen now. Okay, I'm not sure completely, but let's just brush my foot away, clear a bit of the uh, debris away here, and we'll have another listen. Take that bit back, keep my surface flat if I can. I much prefer to work on a flat bench. Okay, let's come across and have a listen again. Okay, I think that I can hear that's got a little bit louder, so I'm going to continue to dig, take a little bit more out of here. Just break it up a little bit there. If it gets louder, it's usually an indication that you should have a metallic object. So I'm reasonably confident there should be something metal here at least. I just have to spread this out a little bit here. Can't locate it in amongst all that. Drive me nuts.
have a look and see. Well, this has taken a little bit of fighting, this one. But again, I've got a little rock here, so I'm not sure whether it's actually a piece of soil or whether it's got a little piece of gold sticking out of it somewhere here. So uh, once again, I love breaking these ones up. Let's see if what happens if I break it in half here. A little bit came off there. Let's just keep breaking this up here. Still breaking it up a bit more yet. Listen and see if we've got anything in here. Okay, proven it's no longer in my rock. It's in the material I've got down here. I'm going to rub my finger in and see if I can feel anything that's worth uh, having a look at. I'll rub it through there a little bit again. Okay, that's broken a lot of little things up. Yeah, look, I can see something that's worth looking at. This has been a marathon effort to be able to locate something, but I reckon that I have got it here. Just let me check it over the coil first. Nothing there. Drop him back in. There you go. Put a little bit of moisture on it there. Just maybe it'll shine up a little bit for you. Right there, just in the end of the scoop, Gold Digger Dave, fourth trip out in detecting with Dave and scores gold again with a GPX 6000. Okay, I've got a fake target just down in here. Well, you can hear that quite easily, actually, but I'm still gonna take it out. Let's just scrape it back, make a nice flat area to work with again, and have another listen. Yep, nice clear signal there. Scrape this away a little bit, and we'll see what we've got underneath here. Okay, great view back. Let's have a listen again. I think I probably moved it there. Certainly got the sound there. And that rolled straight off. And the last piece of lead for the day. That's all I've got time for today out in the whipstick. Magnificent day for detecting. I've scored myself a little piece of gold. I've cleaned up some lead shot and little bits of metal. And I am absolutely stoked with the power of the GPX 6000. I'm gonna take a photo on the scales of the little piece of gold I got, and it is tiny. It's gotta be one of the smallest pieces that I've located so far with a GPX 6000. Until next time, I'm Gold Digger Dave, and you've been watching Detecting with Dave on the Mind Lab Show.